Hello, how's it going? Okay, we have to be fast because I have to get home for therapy in 30 minutes. Um, and I'm like 10, 15, 20 minutes away from home. Wow, I really need to hurry. Okay, so I got a little six piece nugget um, and the Big Mac sauce. Okay, tell me why they're charging for this. This is the same size sauce container as all of their other sauces and they're gonna charge me for it? I think that's stupid. Actually, never mind. Maybe I didn't get charged. Maybe I just lost my mind. Oh, I think, I can't remember. Okay, we're going in for junk. Did I get charged? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Ignore that if I didn't. Mm, that's pretty good. I've only had a Big Mac one time in my life on this channel with you guys. So I've only had Big Mac sauce once in my life. And I kind of forgot what it tasted like. Oh no. Fries spilled in my lap. I also never get a medium fry. I'm strictly a small fry gal. So this is a big day for me. Um, mm -mm. I also, who am I? Got the new strawberry shortcake uh, McFlurry, which I'm excited about. And I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast and it's three o'clock, two, it's three, I think. Three oh one. So it's Friday. Oh, and Diet Coke to drink. Did you hear that? That was my stomach. I'm so hungry. Um, today's one of my Fridays off because my new work schedule. Um, just came from my hair appointment. The NFL draft is going on in Kansas City right now. It's exciting times. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to any of the draft activities. Mostly because I don't like big crowds and that kind of stuff. But the weather's really nice. This would be a great day for it. And also, I don't care about football. I am a Kansas City Chiefs fan because I live here and... It's fun to root for them, but football's not my sport. <clears throat> but there is a lot of excitement, excitement in the air. And um, it's been fun to see them like set up for it. I'm so hungry. I should have gotten a 10 piece, honestly. I have to tell you about the highlight of my week. So, as I've mentioned many times, I love to read. Um, and I started a book club at work called Chat and Chew. And <clears throat> this month is the one year anniversary of like the formation of our book club.
Um, so for our one year anniversary book meeting, we read The Arrangement by Kirsten Modulin. It's a domestic <clears throat> thriller about a husband and wife. Their marriage isn't going great. They have three kids. So the wife comes up with an arrangement where they each date someone new once a week. And the one rule is that they don't discuss what happens on the dates, who the date's with, where it's at, what they're doing. <clears throat> but then things don't go according to plan and it's wild. So it was the first book in a series. We read the first one for our book club. I devoured it. I loved it. So I was like, <clears throat> on the author's page, because I'd never heard of her before. Never read any of her stuff before. Uh, so I was on her website. Just browsing, trying to figure out what else she's written. And I come across her contact page. Where she says, like, you want to reach out, fill out the form. If you want me to make an appearance at your book club, fill out the form. So, this was like <clears throat> last Friday. I filled out her little form and I said, My book club read your book this month and we loved it. And Monday was when we were meeting. I said, Monday is the one year anniversary of our book club and. Um, you're probably busy because it's such short notice, but if by any chance you're not busy, would you be available to meet with us this day and time um, via Zoom? It would be such a fun way for us to celebrate. Everyone would be thrilled to meet you, to chat with you. I figured it was a long shot because it was only like three days away. I figured there was no way she'd be available. Um, but then I got then I got an email Saturday morning, and she said normally she'd be busy, but she was available Monday, and she loved to chat with us. So on Monday. Our group met and we zoomed with her and it was so fun it was so fun it was definitely such a treat we had a great time hopefully we'll have more author appearances in the future it was so fun um <clears throat> Anyway, and then I read the second and third books so fast, like in three days. So good. I love books. I'm so hungry. I'm eating this so fast. But anyway. It's the highlight of my week, truly. Okay. Fries done. Nuggets done. I'm shocked at how quickly I'm devouring this. Got stuck. Okay. 
now we try there's this car <clears throat> truck with this guy in it next to me and he's just like sitting in his truck and looking over here and I don't like it okay oh look um okay well I guess I'll just take this huge bite oh oh that's so good wow mm. that's really good what's that yummy artificial strawberry flavor that's really good and I love all the crunchy bits Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's really good I hope all the bits aren't just on top and then there's nothing at the bottom also this truck is really loud so if you could just like turn it off that would be super can you hear that I'm so annoyed <clears throat> okay, so it's not overly sweet. And the strawberry is pretty subtle. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to go. Otherwise, I'm going to be late. Also, <clears throat> this therapy appointment that I'm headed to, I'm really nervous for it because... Okay, now he's leaving. He just came, yeah, he's just sitting there looking at me and now he's leaving. No, he's pulling forward, what's he doing? I'm really nervous because we're doing EMDR today and I'm very scared. I've heard it's very intense and like not fun and it gets worse before it gets better. I've only ever done talk therapy, which has been wonderful. I'm a huge believer in therapy, but I've never tried EMDR and I'm scared. So if you've done it, let me know if it worked. How was it? Terrified. So I'm going to go home and do that. And um, I'll see you guys later.